Whew. It is spring has sprung, but it is still super chilly here in the UK. Okay, section six, righty tighty lefty loosey, is the section about how I used my left hand, my non-dominant hand, to do virtually 90% of my work from the past couple of years. I'm right-handed for everything, uh, let's be clear, but I deliberately chose to work with my left hand for my MFA program as a way to fight self-judgment, honestly. The point was to really keep my my ego out of my painting process. And when you're using your left hand and with all its clumsiness and awkwardness, um, there's really no there's no longer room for your ego. You can't try to prove that you're good at painting when you're painting with your left hand. All that goes right out the window. You're just trying to survive, <laughs> really. Um, and it's hard at first, but I think it's it's a it's a really valuable experience in a couple ways. First, um, a lot of Zen teaching talks about the beginner's mind. And when I was using the left my left hand to paint, I was definitely a beginner again. I wasn't just, you know, printing an image using um, techniques that I've been really well trained at. Painting became an experience of discovery and experimentation um, again, and that was really that was really refreshing. It it, it ignited a lot of of wonder and fascination um, with the process of painting again. And the other way is it taught me a lot of self acceptance. I mean. When you put a stroke down with your left hand, you don't really know how it's gonna turn out, but you do know that you're gonna keep going. So however the strokes turn out, you, you gotta work with them. You gotta keep building with them. So repeatedly having to, yeah, swallow my pride and just accept what came out and keep going, I think was, is, is a really valuable um, lesson that I gained from working with my left hand. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, you can pick up your copy of the book of Sight and Insight only at sightandin.site.